Hey, it's uh, John Reed, live from the Acumatica Partner Summit with my latest victim is actually the CEO, uh, Yuri Larishev. How's it going? It's going very good. So I'm pretty happy so far, so how the summit is developing. One of the most interesting things is your licensing model. It's, uh, you know, you're so often think about enterprise software per user, per mm -hmm. seat. What You guys do it differently. It's uh, very different from traditional ERP pricing model because we believe that uh, what the opportunity Acumatica offers is for the customers to grow together with uh, their business and to grow with uh, extending their models and extending their functionality on Acumatica. And uh, we don't charge per user. So we don't limit customers. We don't penalize customers for accidental users they have. So since they land on the right skill, so they stay with unlimited users. Mm. So, and we have 12 SKUs right now in our uh, modern and introduced yesterday licensing scheme. Right. So, and uh, uh, on the right SKU, customer, which o of course depends on the customer size and the size of the database they use and the number of uh, processing powers they have. So they have unlimited users. Yeah, and you know, I didn't find the licensing perfectly easy to understand for, uh, from an outside, but what, uh, what did strike me was when you talk about opening up portals to customers and suppliers who can then, you know, have access as users, that's, that's really different in a, in a promising way, I think. Uh, we have uh, many interesting technologies inside the Comatic ERP solution, and uh, we have integrated CRM, which is a big thing. So, and we also have uh, integrated portals technology. So which we release as a part of the 4.1, so which we announced yesterday. So our partners can really operationalize all kind of different user scenarios, so using portals. Because through the portals, you can extend your ERP and CRM functionality to your channel or your suppliers, your partners, your customers, and uh, your consultants as well. So I mean, which are probably working somewhere in the field. So and uh, they can access, I don't know, AP, AR, uh, custom records, CRM opportunities, uh, many things we operationalized inside Akumarika, so we use Akumarika internally. So, and uh, spending all my professional life in sales and marketing, so I've always been a big fan of sales automation. So always been involved in uh, how to get more efficient on the sales tools. And I can tell it's in less than a year on Akumarika, so it went a long way. So, and the partner portal, which we have today, so covers all partner sales needs, the whole sales cycle, it's pretty unique. Now, prior to joining Acumatica, you worked for a very large organization <laughs> with a large yeah. footprint, shall we say. Yeah. Um, now you have a chance to provide a different kind of customer experience uh, working here. What can you tell us about a uh, customer example or two of using your product? On well, uh, customers, uh, that's probably, or again, what makes ERP business interesting and uh, very, I would say, motivating to work in is the fact that we can operationalize completely different industry verticals with our solution. Mm. So we have customers in uh, manufacturing, so the ones which are working with suppliers all over the world. So working cross-border, so it's uh, multi-language, so multi-currency, so and uh, multi-tax. So and uh, not so many current ERP vendors actually have it as a third key out of the box solution. So I mean, right. they also have to customize it. It's not working, let's say, with each other and so on. In Acumarica, you can have the business uh, in Mexico and in US, for example, with uh, GL consolidation in US. So and uh, have it all out of the box. You don't have to mm -hmm. run any customization. So I mean, it's just mm -hmm. doing the right settings inside the system. Mm -hmm. So and uh, we've been traditionally very heavy on uh, distribution and uh, project accounting. In the project accounting world, again, thinking about the customer scenarios, we can talk about professional services, we can talk about the marketing agencies. So actually, we've got a couple of travel agencies at the customer, <laughs> the customers over the last 12 months. And uh, uh, also, we've got several software developers. So I mean, very similar to Akumarika business. So it's very easy to sell, so easy to explain how the software works because we're using Akumarika internally. I like hearing about a vertical strategy because I think without that, I just think you can have a tough time. I just think these more general use cases don't work nearly as well anymore. Customers want something out of the box or close to out of the box that really mm -hmm. s fits them. But you're going to need some partner help, right? Or you're not saying you're going to build all these yourself, right? So nope. how are you going to cover nope. the rest? We, we rely on partners, and we have more than 60 IC partners today. So, and uh, I would say about 20 live solutions, so in, uh, 
Uh, just to pick one, we have uh, uh, old relationship with a company called Jazz here in the US, and they have manufacturing solution on Ecomarica. So, and we have dozens of customers all over the world, starting from Mexico, so to Philippines and United States. So we're actually, we have a fully integrated manufacturing model. So it looks like natural Ecomarica model. So it's fully integrated with financials, fully integrated with distribution. So it's a turnkey. There's something you're gonna have to clear up for viewers, because last night I had some discussion with some people who were like, well, Acumatica, I'm not sure if it's multi-tenant. It really needs to be. That would be a real problem. Is Acumatica multi-tenant or not? It's multi-tenant, so we released it with 4.1. So with the uh, release, it was initially planned as intermediate release. Turned out to be major one. Major so one. Uh, Which just was announced, really interesting. announced yesterday. Yeah. Announced yeah. yesterday, so it's available today. So mm -hmm. as of Tuesday, today, August 20th, on our uh, partner portal. So partners can actually get the bits and uh, start deploying them. And uh, on multi-tenancy, it's available, it's released, so we did it for one of our OEM partners, so which was planning to release accounting offices solution. So and uh, it's all up and running. And you were telling me that uh, you, weren't, you weren't in a huge rush to go mobile because you didn't want to just um, you know, duplicate functionality on a mobile device. You wanted something better than that because Acumatic is already web-based, so there's not a huge rush for mobile. But you also said to me, that you guys are gonna build something that makes it possible on any device to have a similar experience, that's gonna be, in my opinion, that's gonna be really tough. Um, well, what's the plan? We position Ecomarica as a platform and uh, obviously as a cloud solution. So, and uh, it works in any browser today. So it's, it automatically adjusts to your screen size. I mean, regardless where you use it. So on uh, your cell phone, smartphone, or your iPad. So, but um, we've been thinking about the usage scenarios. So I mean, talking about mobile applications, and uh, I doubt that if we will simply replicate their CRM or full ERP functionality on a mobile, that uh, customers will use it. It's too complex. Right. I think it's scenario by scenario with several business functions. I mean, um, in any single application. So we will already release the first application, which is expense reports for uh, Windows tablet. So okay. when uh, customers can just uh, make photos of their receipts, so and uh, generate expense report, get it approved, and see their balance. So and we believe that we will continue going in this direction. So right now we have several good scenarios for the next mobile applications, which will have some existing uh, CRM functionality. So and uh, customer records and opportunity management. And uh, what we came up with is that we want to have a platform. So based on our technology, which will allow us to build their application once and then have it portable on a different mobile platform, starting from the iPhone, Android devices, and Windows Phone devices. We're working on it right now. It will be released with the next uh, major um, uh, release, which is 5.0, so which we expect at the end of Q1 next calendar year. So and uh, you will hear more about our new wave of mobile applications actually okay. in the wild through. <laughs>